Okay, yeah. To me, success means uh, when people around you are happy and uh, you can impact their life positively. That's what I, it, to me, that's what success means. If I'm doing anything, let's assume I said uh, uh, I want to get to this place and I was able to get there successful, or I want to do this thing and I was able to do that thing, which means I've, I've, I've done it, that there is, that's the successful, I've done it, I don't know how to put it. Well, success means to me, I, I want to define success as people around me being successful. So if I see people around me doing well, I think I'm successful. As for me, uh, it means um, succeeding in achieving my goals, you know, attaining my plans, and then being happy with myself. I'm successful already. Yes, when we say success, um, from my own angle, what you have been able to achieve from your, maybe your career, educate finance and all that things like that. So it means a lot. Success means a lot. So yeah, welcome back to the show. This is Today with John and Helen. Of course, we uh, said earlier on that we're dedicating today to our women, yeah. our mothers, our lives. Yeah. All right, our wives, our yes. daughters, yes. wherever they are. Yes. I can see you nodding yes. and yes. feeling so good with yourself. Women power. But they deserve it, don't they? I mean, today we remember so many women who have over a hundred years now, for over a hundred years now, fought for the cause of women. You know, we remember people like Rosa Parks, right? Recently, we have people like Margaret Thatcher, mm -hmm. right? We have Florence Nightingale. Diana, the Princess of Wales. Bring it back home, Bring John. it back home. Today, we celebrate our very own Ngozi Okonjo Iwiala, right? We have another Ngozi in the book writer, Chima, uh, Chimamanda Adizie, yeah? That's her name, isn't it? Fela's mother. Adichie, yeah, Adichie. Adichie. Uh, we remember Fela's Queen mother. Amina. And so many other women who have impacted our lives in so many ways. Well, we'll come back to them because we're celebrating them all through the month of March. We are. But today with us in the studio, yes. we have somebody who has a tag <laughs> name that uh, <laughs> you are I'd scared to, of. I would love to have it. <laughs> I would love to have it. We have with us uh, Tade Cash. Yes. Tade Cash is a super, super investor and legendary closer. Mm. I would want to welcome him by asking him, who is a legendary closer? All right, thank you very much for having me. Um, a legendary closer is someone that uh, focuses on getting what he wants without uh, deceiving others and getting it. He gets it persuasively, intelligently, and people love to give him what he wants. That's what we call a closer. And then if you're able to do it successfully over time, then you can become a living legend. And that's why, <laughs> and that's why, where the name comes. Ah, um, so that's where it comes from. That's definitely. But where did you, where did you get the name Cash? Cash. Yeah, t name Cash was not my original name. It was a name that um, I was called when I was growing up because I talk a lot about uh, cash flow within my brothers and my yeah. siblings, you know. So <laughs> any, any small thing, they say, oh, I'll tell them. So to the point that everything they are trying to say, I try to find um, the word cash flow around it. For wow. instance, I would tell them in the house that, oh, courage is cash flow. Okay? Yeah. Getting attention is cash flow. Being consistent for is cash real. flow. This is, this this is for is, real. Yeah, yeah, this is for real. Yes, I, so wish I, I wish I had... <laughs> you know, I mean, you met him a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so the, as a result of that, at the point in my life, that, that becomes a name that goes that with my That just name. goes yeah. with your So Tade, what's name. your real name? So my, Come on. my original name is... Uh, Akinta de Oluto Esson. He's almost okay. forgotten his name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. All right. Now, <laughs> now Tadi Cash. Yes, right. right. But let's, let's together, let's look at success all right. in our society. That's the theme yes. for our program for the month of March, yeah. right? We're looking at success and money matters. So let's look at success in our society. Now, in Africa, particularly Nigeria, there is a considerable disparity between 
the rich and the poor. Why is this? Okay, um, I think that society is not fair, but society is exact. It depends on how you relate with it. And so for me, I look at it and I say, maybe perhaps because I was raised and I grew up uh, quite poor, and then I, I understood that um, the justice system of the world does not give a place for someone that does not have a means of expression, which is what money signifies. And however, you know, I've also come to realize that the poor and the rich are the same. The only difference is the arrangement of their mind. So mm -hmm. the way the mind is being arranged is what separates them. The rich is not superior to the poor. The poor is not inferior to the rich. What separates both of them is how the mind is used and how the mind is arranged. So that means that a poor man has an hope to be rich, and uh, a rich man also should not elevate himself so much because if he does not maintain what gets him to being rich, rich. he can be poor. He can drop. The poor man can just, um... <laughs> so there is no permanent success. There is no permanent wealth. Everyone keeps working at it mm. because the mind is the biggest battle. And many a time, uh, being poor for a long time can make it look as if it's your fate, can make it wow. look as if it's someone's destiny. But wow. it, it, come to think about the it, reality, it's not, it's it's not, not the end. anyone's destiny. It's not the end. Wow. Of, it's just that that's how people accept it because it then takes a lot of effort to be able to break away from that condition. Which is why they encourage some people that never mind, you're 60, but some, some people even start their lives at 60. At 60, at exactly. 70. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. The whole hope isn't lost until you, you go down and, under. <laughs> and that's it. So definition matters a lot because yes. definition can either expand our life or limit it. Mm -hmm. So um, the way people define success, I think that's where uh, the limitation comes in. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You know, listening to you, I am <clears throat> the radar is going round. Like a lot of people who have really impacted the world. I don't want to use the word success, you know. Um, they have really impacted the world successfully. I've had stories of coming from grass to grace, like advent uh, poverty. I, I remember about, um, our late, late um, leader, yeah, Abiola, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and several, even in the African context. So many of them, when they tell their story, it's like it never could happen. And it just happened. And that's why you said yes. that it's a thing of the mind. And from when you were not closing deals, you had started closing deals. Exactly. You know. <laughs> I love that. The legend is closer. <laughs> <laughs> so then, does success have any negative attributes? And if yes, how can these negatives be turned into positives like? Okay, um, the negative side of success is that success has a tendency to make you look down on other people. Um, mm. Success has tendencies of making you think, because we can easily forget where we are coming from. And then having gotten some of the things you want in life. Mm. You start looking at other people as uh, not do well, mm. you know, they're not in my levels, and all of that. Unknown to us that is a principle that you have decided to obey Perhaps the other person has not obeyed the principle, mm. but that does not make you superior to the person. So what I've learned over the years, which I tell myself almost every day, is that the more successful you become, mm. the more humble you have to be. Mm. Because wow. then uh, that draws me every single day. So some people will tell me, oh, Tadi, why are you related with this set of people? Why do you still go to where you grew up? I say, Kai, come mm. on. I, I, I try to remind myself yeah. that no matter what I have become today, Perhaps all of us grew up together. All of us have conversation of our visions and all of those things. But perhaps I have followed the principles. I have been obedient to the laws, but does it make me superior to them? Mm -hmm. Now, that is where people now be able to, because most people in our society still see success as a secret. There is no secret in success. Success is just a system that you obey or refuse to obey. Mm -hmm. And that's differentiate people. So the, the downside of success is that you can look down on other people and you can be very arrogant. Because you can think, who is he to talk to me? Yeah. You know, uh, what, what, what was he taking himself for? You know who I am? You know, and all of those things because you have gotten what you want to some extent in life. You know, I think the people that have not gotten it, they are nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. And that is the negative side. And every successful person, everyone that has worked in getting things they want in life, 
And in, in the regards we're talking about this success, it's not just money. A woman that had gotten married successfully, maybe at a young age, can start looking at her maid that haven't gotten married and look at them. Mm -hmm. you know? And then so as a result of so it, relatively. because it's relatively. So success yeah. is about getting what you want. So for the father, someone that has not gotten what he wants does not mean you're superior to them. Yeah. So getting that straight does differentiate and create sanity in the society. Mm. And so many a time, people try to look down on other people and say, no, 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 we're not in their class because, you know, we don't have what we want. And that can create a lot of battle, a lot of envy that is not necessary. And that is what we see every day. So, it's so the way to turn that yeah. negative is to constantly remind yourself exactly. where you've begun. Exactly. You have always. to remind yourself. You have to, there is no permanent success. There are only current success. And therefore, if you don't understand that, you can misbehave and then you can just slide. And that's the problem. <laughs> wow. So really, what, what, what we're saying is that our definition of success is, is relative to, exactly. to, to us. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, um, again, I want to talk about celebrating our women okay. all, right. <laughs> all over the world and <laughs> yeah. in this country. Mm -hmm. Now, let's bring it back home. Let's bring it to Nigeria. By your assessment and by your relative definition, the achievement of our women, especially Nigerian women, over the past maybe few years, in your, by your assessment, okay. would you say that they have done well? Have they been successful politically, culturally, socially? Let's give them a... Otherwise. Just quickly, let's just give them on some the kind scale of, of... On a scale of whatever. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So How have they done? Not to be biased, I would say that <laughs> our, our women, um, and because of the work that I also do, our women have realized that a lot of women in Nigeria are quite ambitious, and they are, you know, they want to make something great with their life, mm. you know. And many times, despite the fact of the harsh realities in our society, uh, many women in our society today still give themselves, you know, that edge to try to want to get things done. So, if I want to rate a woman in terms of success, I think that I would give them eight. You know, because the truth <laughs> is, a lot of things goes on, you know, underlying structure yes. in the lives of a lot of women. And so when you see a woman that is making, you know, something happen for herself, yes. don't just think they have been egoistic or something. Mm -hmm. A lot happens in their life yes. just to be able to get those things going, yes. you know. I remember growing up, how my mom, you know, despite the fact that, you know, she, a couple of her dreams were denied because she has to raise children. But at the same time, she still have to be there and say, you people, you can achieve your dream. You can. And those words are like law to me. Mm -hmm. You know, even now that she has gone, I still remember those words those every things. single day. Yes. And there are things I still want to achieve just because of her. Yes. Because I just feel, no, what about if she's here right now? Yes. You know, and that gives me a lot of energy. It gives me a lot of power. You know, the place of women can never be overemphasized. They, yeah. are, they are influencers. They are people. Um, there is hardly a woman that want to get something done that will not get it done. You know, it's an, it's he's an, a woman's man. He's just stating the obvious. You know, so they have this, yeah. they have this power within them, which yes. the challenge of a lot of women is that they don't know it. They have not yeah. come to the realization mm -hmm. that the power they have inside of them can change a lot of things. Except a woman does not want to get things done. If she really want to get, get it done, she gets it too. She gets it done. Uh, from, <laughs> from my little experience. <laughs> From my little, from my mother to my wife to my daughter, they get it. Ah, they always get it. Hard work. They always get hard it. Work. Yeah. Yes. Yes, hard work. Persistence. Hard work. Persistence. Now, okay. So one principle of success says that most people yeah. will never be successful. It's scary. All right. So that is generalization, and I think uh, we need to readdress that okay. because it begins from definition, like I said earlier. Um, when we say some people will never be successful, it's a yes and no. Because when we say some people will never be successful, it simply means some people will never know exactly what they want and going for it. Because if you know what you want and you go for it, you will be successful. But most people, because being clear, clarity is hard work. Mm. So most people never get to that point of clarity when they know exactly what you want. Rather, they are chasing what other people want. But you know, when you spend the rest of your life chasing what other people want, when you get to the line, you suddenly realize that that is not your life. Mm. And for some people, get to a point where it seems late to them, and they feel like, oh, they're just living a life of a quiet desperation because there's nothing to show for it. They have lived life, but they have not lived their own life. They have not lived life on their own terms. 
They have lived somebody else's life. They have tried to live on other people's approval, other people's accolade. They have lived for everybody, but not for themselves. This is very practical, you know. Of course. You know, so many <laughs> years ago, the, the, the pure water business came, mm. you know, and a lot of people <laughs> went there. Then it was another business. A lot of people went there. And you really have to find out what is it that you are best or good at doing, exactly. not what is trending, mm. if I can use that yeah, word. It's happening things. for everybody, so yeah. it has to happen for me. Yeah. You know, and that's what you just said. Exactly. Mm. The bottom line is that this word success, we have used it so loosely. Mm. We've underestimated it, we've underscored, we've under, under whatever you, know, you want to call it. And it's just beginning to dawn on me, especially, that um, we have to be careful how we use it. And you have to define because success it, for yourself. Yeah, because it is always it has to be put within context. That's true. Within the right context. That's true. Okay, because um, you know the fact that uh, I'm down today doesn't mean that I can't reach it. Mm. That's true. You know. So that's uh, that, that's amazing. You see, it it, it gets it gets it gets better and every better each day, week. every yeah. each week. Yes, on yes, this on program. This show. Mm. And so. uh, I honestly wish we could have a a longer session with you, uh, Mr. Cash. But before <laughs> before Mr. Cash leaves us, okay. you must give us some, you know, things to take away. All You've right. given us a lot, mm. but there must be some key things that you want to leave for our viewers exactly. to say, yes, oh, everybody desires to be successful. Okay, this is my time. This, this, this is what I need to begin to work on. All right, that's fine. Thank you very much. So the first thing that a lot of people, everyone needs to focus on is you must know, be clear about what you want with your life. Many a time we have lived life for everybody. You know, success is not about being famous. Success is not about being a celebrity. Success is getting what you want with your life. Because when you get what you want with your life, you will increase your self-esteem. And there is only one thing that makes you happy, your self-esteem. But one thing makes you have self-esteem, getting what you want. Because the more you get what you want, the more your self-esteem becomes whole. And you are no more validated by other people's opinion, mm. but knowing full well that you have the power inside of you to do whatever you want with your life on your own terms without hurting other people. Now, moving with that moment, you realize that, oh, I decide what I want. When I decide what I want, ask for what you want. Many people get shut down in life because they are waiting for permission to be successful. In life, you don't wait for permission. You take it and apologize later. So you have to give yourself a permission. You give yourself a permission, then later on, you apologize. I told my sibling, I'm going to school abroad. They said, where are you going to get the money? I said, okay, don't worry. At the end of the day, I figured it out. I school abroad. Everybody came back and said, Tade, your stubbornness is a virtue. Because we never knew you could get this thing done. Now, I wasn't living the life for them. I was living the life for me. For because ultimately, I would be by myself alone. I would be on my bed by myself. I would think within myself. They were not going to be there. I'm going to be there by myself. And that moment is what defines happiness and frustration. And you see, if you don't decide what you want, if you don't, you are not clear about what you want, and you are not ready to sit on the, on the table of the market, which means that go out there and begin to ask for what you want. And there is one person you must ask for, most importantly, yourself. You must ask yourself, what do I really want? And the moment you can sell that idea to yourself, the moment you are sold on it, that this is what I want, don't be apologetic about it. Many people are too apologetic about living. Mm. And that is why they never truly live. They're just living for other people. I have seen a lot of people never live because okay. they are just there. So okay. go out there and <laughs> you make it actually, happen for you. you actually, Tade is closing the deal. <laughs> yes, you actually got me fixated. Tade you know, Cash is closing the deal. <laughs> quite frankly, this is... This is amazing stuff, yes. Thank you. you know, and I think the closest I've gotten to, uh, to, to something being, like this, uh, somebody Tade Cash, mm. is that some of my friends call me Johnny Cash. Ah. <laughs> oh, I love Johnny Cash. Johnny Johnny Cash. Cash. I love him a lot. So <laughs> I think I'm getting closer. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. So nice. Uh, thank you. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you know, thank you. Thank um, you. this is a topic that one would have, you know, like I said earlier, I would have just taken lightly. Mm. But you have given true so meaning to, to, to the word uh, success. You've given it 
like she said, uh, a lot of dimensions. And we want to thank you so much for coming on the program. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy Cash. Thank you don't worry, this is not the end of us. Eh? I am connecting <laughs> immediately after this show. All right. <laughs> so, there we are. It's a day with Jordan Helen. We've had two guests so far. We hope that um, you have been as thrilled and as informed as we have been. It's unbelievable just getting to talk about success and money matters, and here we are. Well, still to come, the icebreaker. And um, what am I talking about? Pharaoh, what have you not been able to learn about success? Pharaoh will bring that on with her guests. Please join us after these messages. <laughs>